What's going on YouTube? It's your boy CV2 Rob here back again with another video and as you can see by the title we're going to be trying to replace the cabin air filter that's located inside this glove box. So let's get right into the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the glove box obviously but once you do that you want to clean all this stuff out because once you open the glove box all the way to access the cabin air filter all that stuff will just fall on the floor make an even bigger mess so just clean everything out and next step okay once you've done that you're going to come to the right side of the glove box and you're going to want to push down on this clip right here yeah i'll show you it's kind of hard you might think you're going to break it but you won't just push down on it boom and push it over to the side that way it doesn't engage in the glove box and once you pop that clip on the right side you're just going to want to push in on these two plastic pieces that one and this one and the glove box should come down right after i'm gonna do it right now and show you guys in the next clip because i'm only one person so i can't do both at the same time and once you've done that the glove box should be fully out i guess you could say and you can see the cabin air filters right in here so what we're gonna do next is push it on these two clips there's one right here and the other one is right over can i get my finger in there where is it Right over there, right there. You're gonna push in all those two clips and that little front cover should come right out. As I showed in the last clip, you're gonna wanna push in on this clip here and on this other side and it'll come right out. As you can see, the cabin air filter is nice and exposed now. I should be able to just pull it right out. And just a heads up, if you're doing this by yourself, make sure you try to pull it out as level as possible because it's probably full of debris and stuff if you haven't changed it on in a while. This is the first time in my ownership of having this car I've done it that I'm gonna do it. So let's see how much trash is in it right now. Gonna try and pull this thing out and record at the same time. It's gonna be a little bit hard, but get my hand in here. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. I could definitely say I needed to change that out. This right here. Look how dirty that is. Can this thing focus? There we go. Look at that. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I definitely need to change that. Hopefully there's nothing else in there. Well, at least it's nice and clean in there. So I don't have to vacuum it out. I don't, I don't think. But All right, now we're going to take the old, the new one, out, the new one out of this box I got from Walmart. And... Throw it back in the uh, air filter thing box, cabin air filter box. So, obviously, this is the old filter, and this is the new one. I got this Fram filter from Walmart. It was like 20 bucks. There's a part number if you need it. And as you can see, you just want to make sure you putting it, you put it back in the right way, with the airflow arrow pointing downward, just like it shows on this front clip. It goes back on the box. You just want to make sure the arrow is pointing down on this as well. So once you figure out which way the airflow has to go, it's just, it should just slide right back in. I'm sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Oh, um, let's see. Nice and easy. Just push that thing back in there. Boom. So once you get that little front cover back in, you're gonna hear two little clicks basically telling you that it's back in the right place. The clicks are from each clip, one there, one on the other side, and then you should be ready to go to the next step, which is you're gonna to wanna to push these two pieces of plastic back in. Um, I can't really do that one-handed, so I'm gonna do it, and then I'll show you guys um, the result. If you do that, it'll be back up in this position, and after that, we're still gonna to have to reattach this one on the side. So you're gonna to wanna to pull it down. Oh my God, come on camera. Stop selling me. You're gonna wanna pull it down a little bit, back to the right, and push it up. And it locks right, oh wait, no. There we go. Now it's locked back into place, and should all be good to go. Boom. And my local Honda dealer was trying to charge me. Let me show you guys. Cabin air filter replacement. $66 for a three, four minute job, not even. If I didn't have to record it, it'd probably take me two minutes, but 66 bucks for that. I got this at 
Walmart for like 22 bucks. So if you want to save yourself $40 or so, maybe other dealers charge more. This is the same filter I got from Walmart, 22 bucks. Cheap, easy, do it yourself. Don't go to the dealership for no dumb stuff like this. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Deuces.